For over 1500 years, since the time of St Columba of Iona, the Old High Church has been the town church of Inverness, the capital city of the Highlands of Scotland. And for over 100 years, our music and worship has been enhanced by a magnificent Victorian church organ. The Old High Church organ was built by Henry Willis, the greatest organ builder of his day, whose work included the organs of the Royal Albert Hall in St Paul's Cathedral. Our organ has long been at the heart of the worship of the congregation, as well as playing a major part in concerts and community events within the historic Old High Church building. But on Sunday 18th of April 2010, the organ was played for the last time. Later that week, craftsmen from Nicholson Organ Builders began the complex task of dismantling the organ, the first stage of a complete restoration which will see the instrument return to its former glory. Watching the worker Jim Monroe, our property convener, our organist Rena Beaton and the chairman of the organ committee, Cliff Sim. The work was photographed for a local newspaper, providing a record of this historic project. It is a painstaking task, for each pipe has to be carefully removed, and the position of each of the hundreds of pipes has to be exactly recorded. Some of the pipes are large, some are tiny and each one had to be carefully packed for removal. The great bass pipes, some 16 feet long, needed two men to lift them out. The work is being funded by the Heritage Lottery Fund, the Inverness Common Good Fund, the Pilgrim Trust, and many other generous donors and sponsors. Over two weeks, the appearance of the church changed completely from this to this. To this, a huge vacant space where the organ had once been. All that is left now are some of the smaller metal pipes. And the pump which forces the air through the pipes, now seeing the light of day for the first time in many years. The organ has been transported to Nicholson's factory in Malvern in the West Country, where using mostly traditional skills and some modern technology, it will be fully restored so that by the autumn of 2010, the old high Willis organ will once again ring out in all its former glory.